I, I just think it means uh, making people buy into your vision of something and creating motivation that's not um, material for them to follow your vision and to do their best. I think uh, it's very important that a good leader lays out his expectations very clearly at the beginning and also uh, steers his team towards achieving those. Right? Don't just give them a, an objective and dump them and come back after one month and ask them, what did you do? Mm -hmm. So a good leader should always be there for his team and give positive reinforcement and positive feedback and lead by example. Be fair, a hundred percent. Understand the level that you are, um, the people underneath you are at. Like you have 50 years of experience in the field and everyone underneath you does not have that. You need to understand and respect that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Be realistic with the people you are teaching or mentoring or leadering or whatever. Mm -hmm. That they're also human. Like a lot of times people say that, oh, like a good leader, they push people. But I think it's a delicate balance where you still push people and you, you expect excellence from them. But it's like you still know that they cannot like complete an entire lab in less than a week. <laughs> I do believe it's important for leadership to be part of the engineering curriculum. Um, you know, it's great to have the technical skills, but I feel that giving our students the confidence to express themselves, um, to uh, develop skills on how to persuade others, um, if they're really passionate about an idea, is very important.